Good morning, Gold Flashes fans. Uh, getting ready here for uh, day number two of our three days for uh, our preparation for our home opener against Buffalo Friday night, 6.30. Uh, obviously, we had our first league game on Tuesday, and um, with the way we've tried to get our guys focused in on each set of games is just to look at it as a three-day segment. So came back from Western Michigan late Tuesday night, uh, early Wednesday morning. We practiced yesterday, uh, did a lot of film work, uh, got on the floor just for a little bit, lifted. That was day one. Today, big preparation day, day two. Uh, and then obviously tomorrow night we play and really looking forward to this home opener here against Buffalo, who uh, you know represented our league last year in the NCAA tournament and, uh, and shared with a regular season conference championship with us and, uh, and Central Michigan. So just to recap the first game uh, at, at Western Michigan, going into that game, uh, our thought process as a, as a team was, you know, Western Michigan has a culture, uh, especially in their building, culture of being physical, culture of uh, diving on the floor for loose balls, uh, culture of getting extra possessions, uh, culture of making physical plays. And uh, our goal going into the game was, hey, those are the only ways that they'll beat us is if their culture sort of prevails. But we also have our own culture here at Kent uh, and we do those things. And, you know, I thought going on the road in the first, uh, first road game to be able to make some of the plays that we made, uh, diving on the floor for loose balls, getting offensive rebounds off missed free throws, uh, pressuring the basketball into steals and them being rotation steals, not gambling steals, just uh, steals from tough defense and physical play. I, I was proud of our effort, uh, proud of the fact that we were able to come out of there with a win. Uh, not easy to win at, at University Arena up there, uh, just like it's not easy to win in the MAC Center for other teams. So uh, we were happy about getting that win, happy with a, a number of guys in terms of their individual performance but it was really a collective effort. Uh, we played 11 guys and I thought everybody contributed in, in some way, shape or form. So we move past that and move on to the next one, which again, home opener against Buffalo. And uh, you know, they'll have some new faces, but they'll also have some familiar faces. Uh, Lamont Bearden uh, was the, fre well, he may not have been the freshman of the year, but he was probably the best freshman in the league last year. Um, He's their point guard, very, very good player. Uh, Jaron Skeet came in here last year, and uh, I think he hit the first four threes of the game for them uh, when they played us last year. So, you know, we've got to be ready. Uh, we're going to have a different type of team. Uh, they really, really drive the basketball from four positions on the floor. Uh, they're great in transition. So our transition D will be tested. Uh, our, our ball screen defense certainly will be tested. And then we've got to do the things that, that we've done to be successful. We've got to screen, we've got to cut, we've got to get the ball inside, we've got to take care of the basketball. Did a great job of that last game as well. And, uh, and we have to play you know, Kent State basketball and let our culture shine through here tomorrow night. It's a 6.30 game, a little different than normal. It's a Friday night game, which is also a little different than normal. The Max moved some games to Friday night. Uh, hoping that we'll see you there tomorrow. It's our home opener, and uh, can't wait to see you. Go Flashes.